the open challenge in every reef tank is understanding and supporting tissue growth. That tissue is about half protein, one third fats or lipids, and the rest a mix of carbohydrates and minerals. So where do the corals get what's required to make all that? The zooxanthellae provide about 70% of it. Zooplankton, marine snow, bacteria, and surrounding water does the rest. The historic debate was can we really rely on solely light in zooxanthellae? What we know today is that's an incomplete approach. It doesn't contemplate precursors to protein and lipid production, essential amino and fatty acids, or organic versus inorganic sources of nitrogen and phosphorus. A more complete understanding is an entire episode of its own, and it is coming, but there is an obvious missing piece in most marine tanks. Wild coral fields often have very low inorganic nutrient levels of nitrate and phosphate. Nitrate and